It's the Czech Republic. It's NK Maribor. It's the next episode of Erin Gobra. All right, my friends, here we go. We are hopping right in. I am going to show you, because I forgot to do it last time. Um, the schedule. I'm not even going to... Yeah, right. So we beat Dundee 4-1. That with Janadu between the sticks. Thompson at the DM spot. Gary Martin on a 9.2 at right wing back. Collins and... Uh, who was the other one? Uh, Charlie Rowan coming in at the center back spot. Davies at left back. Jim Fox on an 8.9 with a goal. He has done really well coming back to the club. Like, he is trying to earn his spot. This is, you want to see this. This is good mental change. Could work on the technicals a little bit. Good mental changes, I think, from Jim Fox. Bring him back. Kind of put down the challenge. We want to see how he does. Like, it asked me, like, are you going to load him back out or whatever? And I was like, I, I think it's time to give him a good look. To be fair, his goal is in the 91st minute. Doesn't matter. We're already up uh, 3-1. Doesn't matter. Uh, Tom Caffrey played a 7.1. Paul Russell, 7.5. Thorgir Eriksson on an 8.1. Milo Lane on an 8.8 .8 with a brace. Yep, yep. Um, I wasn't able to show you last time the UCD game. We scored two goals in the first four minutes. Unbelievable. And then it got a little nervy at the end because I made a sub. As soon as you make a sub, they score. It's like, ooh, what's happening? Um, right, so we got St. Pat's coming up after, in between what I'm recording, right? Like, So we get the Czech Republic game, and then I'm going to play St. Pat's and Dundalk, 5th and 8th, and then... We take on NK Maribor. So our starters are going to play against St. Pat's, and then we're going to rotate, hopefully, against Dundalk, and then three days later take on Maribor. Not not full rotation. I think what I'm learning here, I'm thinking about like when Liverpool, because that's the team I'm most familiar with, plays games in between. They they rotate, but not it's not like full-fledged rotation, right? So we want to try and keep our, you know, if we bring Thompson in maybe on the left, um, to rest one of these three, but we want to kind of leave these guys together if we can, where it's not like widespread rotation. Look at the goals. 23 from Wilkinson, 16 from Hayes Ward, and 14 from Elaine. Oh. All right. <sighs> we need to win this game. We need to win it bad. We're at home. We're going to go back to the 4-2-3-1. It says they're vulnerable against 4 4 2 we don't have anybody to put in these two slots because we've got two suspensions of Jake Doyle and Adam Ida. So Michael Duffy comes in, Ronan comes in for the DM, Hendrick comes in for Jake Doyle Hayes. Field and Woods are gonna start. Although Kevin O'Connor has played well, hasn't he? Field but Field's stats are so much better, but he's not in form, right? Like I think Kevin O'Connor's stats are better because he played against like Georgia and Kazakhstan. He played 8.6 against Kazakhstan and 9.0 against Georgia and an 8.1 against Malta. So he didn't get a rating in the other two games. So I think that's his his attributes. I said stats, didn't I? Well, those the things I just went over were stats. Anyway, that's how we line up. Cullen knows the, the deep line playmaker. Is he bet? Yeah, he's better. He's better than uh, Kelly in that spot. Kelly is, is quite good, but look at the I mean, the ratings are the ratings speak, speak for themselves. Troy Parrott's going to lead the line. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little bit nervous. We're going to do extended highlights on this because I, the Germany one is kind of like, well, yeah. Yeah, better performance than last time. That makes sense to say. I'm, I'm surprised anybody reacted to that. Yeah, we're going to not assume anything. Why would you tell somebody in the tunnel, yeah, well, this is my exact tactical plan. I don't think any of that makes sense. I don't, that, the whole question doesn't make sense to me. Um, I do want to ask you, now that we're into the meat of the game, and there's going to be a bunch of highlights to, to sit here and talk through, what you think we should do, like, if we... If we qualify for the World Cup, is that is that it? Or do we, like, do a couple cycles in the World Cup? Or... Not a couple. I don't think we have time to do a couple, but, you know... If Cabin Teely don't renew my contract, do we end the series? Do we just do international management? Do I find another team? I know some people want me to do like St. Pat's or Dundalk or some of the other bigger bigger reputation teams. Um, like, what what's the end game, right? If we if we get Cabo back to the Champions League next season from by winning the league, which isn't guaranteed, but lo it looks pretty good thus far. Do we like? Is that kind of it? You know, I know this is supposed to be building a nation, and we've produced Kelvin Bello, 
and Daniel Thompson, who are currently under 19, under 21 players for Ireland. You know, like we have not really built, like, I can't get training facilities. It's kind of hard to build if you don't have training facilities or youth facilities that are beyond basic. It's really hard to like develop a pipeline in the country. So I'm, I'm just kind of wondering, like, I, I can't, I don't think I can go all the way until FM20 with the save, I guess is my feeling. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm definitely open to feedback. I'm not saying I've, you know, made a decision or anything like that. Um, this is extended highlights. We're 35 minutes in with not much going on. But kind of what's, I'm just kind of in my head going like, what's the end game here? Where, where do we go? Okay, we've, it's getting stale or we've done everything we can do. And is that really a penalty? Um, oh, this is always, you know what? McGuire has played well. Come on, McGuire. Qualify us for the World Cup. Yes. Yes. That was kind of not firmly struck, but maybe he was running up and waiting for the keeper to make a move before he slotted at home. We'll take it. We get the one nil. Ratings aren't really that good. Like, they've picked up some yellows, so maybe they're, you know, they've got seven fouls. We've got seven fouls. I was say, maybe they've been fouling us a lot. Maybe it's kind of a sloppy game. It's like 44 degrees Fahrenheit, not centigrade. Centigrade will be uh, a little aggressive. That's the Qatar World Cup, right? Ronan's got a yellow. He may need to come off. We have a lot of options. Like, if you're not going to play well and you're on a yellow... Because what we can't do is go a man down, right? There's still room for improvement. Yeah. Because your ratings aren't really that good. None of your ratings are that good. I, I do think I'm going to take Ronan off. I, it just makes me nervous. Get Casty and Kelly. Who do we want to bring on? Kelly. What you got, Kelly? Okay, he can do an attacking midfielder. I was thinking like he's more of an advanced playmaker because he's got the deep line playmaker action. But he can do he can do the support role. That's fine. We'll do that. We'll give him a run out. Just, you got to get the yellow off. And it, if we had a, a bigger lead, you know, like a three goal lead, I might not do it. But then you go like, well, why not? Right? So I think with a one goal lead, you make the switch at halftime. You take the yellow off. Kelly with his set piece, master set piece. The Oh, guys, you got to stand in front of the keeper. You know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't think you're allowed to do that. But anyway, um, Woods. Okay. Collects it. Nice. do. Okay. It, it works. Shane Duffy, the legend. I love Shane Duffy. Nobody in the middle of the park there where that ball lands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Smells like danger. Smells like danger. Somebody, what are you doing? Step forward. Okay. Bazuno. I'd like to see Bazuno get a contract somewhere. Being a back of at Man City is not doing him any good. Although I'm sure they've got really good training facilities. Right. Oh, Troy Parrott sends that at, uh, like out of the stadium. I know we're in the Aviva, but still. I, I, all the way out the very top. <laughs> Zoinks. Colin's looking a little tired. We could drop Kelly back. They're trying to play for set pieces. Okay, interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that from... Uh, my assistant manager. Maybe my, maybe my assistants in my games haven't been good enough to notice. <laughs> Hendrick on a run. He's on his bike. He's he's playing a simple pass. Wasn't on the same page with the runner. Good attempt, though. At least he didn't get immediately dispossessed. I definitely thought it was going to be run, 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 get dispossessed. Maguire takes a touch. All his pace. Drops off to Woods, who's going to pass it back to Cullen, the deep line playmaker, to Maguire. He's got the runner, plays it into Woods, who's going to immediately cross! Duffy! Oh, what a save from Vrabic. Vrabic? Vrabic. Vrabic, maybe? Nobody knows. Field! Okay. We had a lot of guys not in the box on that. That was kind of a weird situ situation, if I do say so myself. Cullen is looking exhausted. We should think about saying, mate, welcome to international duty. Okay. I'm not opposed to subbing you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. Okay. We do have Kelly. We could, he's, a, he's playing a 6.8. Kelly's playing a 6.4. That's not exactly inspiring. 
I thought Duffy was going to get dispossessed there. Why would I doubt Duffy? Maguire takes the touch. He's on his bike. Zoom, 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 zoom. Plays it into Parrot. First time kicks it right at the keeper. Like, that's almost like a skill, mate. Like, you kicked it right at the keeper. You are coming off. Cassidy is coming on. Goodness. Now, Cullen's going to have, I think, to have to suck it up. Oh, maybe we should drop Maguire back. Mm, oh, no. They really, it's all over the park. We're rushing out. Close him down. This is supposed to be an easier game. We got 15 shots, two clear cut chances, one goal. Let's not give up a set piece goal, lads. Ball's in. Comes out and claims it. Calm as you like. And I did like. Yeah. Okay, okay, easy. Okay, it's a pass. It's a tackle pass. It's my favorite kind. The old tackle pass. Get back, Duffy. Oh, no! Kelly has not played well. Goodness, he has really stunk it up, I think you could argue. Oh, that, that could cost us the World Cup. Always at the end of the game. Oh, wait, did I go attacking? No. We're going to go very attacking. It's aggressive. That's not. That's not. That's. They're not going to qualify, but it could keep us from qualifying. Oh, jeez. Are we going to lose now because I went super aggressive? I just love when you have two clear-cut chances and you have one goal and your opponent has done literally nothing and has got a goal. I love that. I mean, I know that's how football goes. I'm not saying that's a football manager thing. It's just frustrating, right? When you're like, we have dominated this game. And now they're wasting time. Of course they are. Kick it wherever you like, mate. This is, this is all for nothing. I think we all know that. I mean, we could, but... A demo is on a 6.0. Oh my goodness, it's an immediate highlight for them. Oh, man. I had a feeling one goal is not enough. That's not a half chance for them, really. I, I thought for sure that's a half chance. You get a header in the six-yard box, clear with nobody around you. I think that's a for sure a half chance. But is the highlight going to continue? Is the highlight going to continue? Oh, no. It was, and then it wasn't. Now it's coming back the other way. Win the ball. Continue. Continue. Maguire, with your speed. You kind of glitched out there for a second. He's, he's actually, he entered a different uh, different realm. The camera is all over the park. The camera man is having a, have a he's having a mare. Duffy, long balls it. Oh, I thought there was going to be a penalty. Duffy, field, cross, penalty. Oh, it's a free kick to them. Oh, blah, 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 blah. keeper dove. I think it should be a red card.
we really, I, what I'm worried about in terms of building a pirate, if I'm being completely honest with you, and it's not just because of that result, is, oh man, is the uh, back line. We just don't have, right? Like, once we lose Shane Duffy, I mean, this guy's upcoming, right? Great. We don't have anybody else. I, th there's a 24 year old that plays, I think, for UCD that looks pretty good, but we don't have like a four star. We don't have anybody in the back line that's more than three stars. That's not great. I mean, he's got potential to be three and a half, but it's still not great. That could cost us. What's going on in the other groups? Oh, man. Let's just go off current. Uh, yeah, Sweden's ahead of us. Croatia's almost out of us. Doesn't matter. Okay, they would have 16 points. We would be, well, that, if they won, they'd have a better goal differential. We could be ahead of Romania. We're behind Holland. We're behind England. Okay, how many games have we played? Eight. Okay, but they're not going to drop any. So they've got, was that two more games to go? The most they could have is 18. We've got 16. Negative 18. They could have a bunch more. So we got three more games. They could have 19. They could have 17. They could have... They've only got one more game. They have 15. So we could... Oh, just barely sneak by group 10, maybe. Maybe if I'm if my understanding of the rules is correct. Okay, let me go do this and then I'll bring you back. I do want to just show you this briefly. We could seal the title today if we win and other results go our way, right? Because it's currently four point gap. They've got three games left, so if they draw. And we win, it'd be a six point gap. Okay, so they'd have to lose. If Shamrock loses and we win, then we've we've won the title. I'm not gonna show you the game, but I just wanna I make you aware. We beat St. Pat's. So we now have a seven point lead. If Shamrock don't win or draw, we've won the title. All that build up, they don't play until the twenty first. They play a, an Iron Brew Cup against Livingston, but they don't play until the twenty four more days. And in the meantime, We've got to play Dundalk, like, all that hype for nothing. We're, we got to play Dundalk in between before they even have their next game. So we're just going to keep playing our games. Here we go, people. 2-1. We've come back. We were down. They had a penalty. Wilkinson skied a penalty. Not even on frame. Just, like, straight into the parking lot. That's the 5.9, you see. We pulled him immediately off. Right on Malo Elaine. Can we hold on here? If we win this, we've won the title. And you are here for it with no sound. And I'm just going to go ahead and change this for uh, the next game where we need it. Okay, right, headed away. Come on, referee. Ticker tape. No, we don't. wouldn't do that, I guess, at their place. Yay, you won. Congratulations. And now you all get to rest. So, yeah, with two games, they, they've got three games. It's a 10-point gap, 10 gap. There's no way they can catch us. We complete the treble, my friends. EA Sports Cup being the critical one. And the President of Ireland's Cup as well, of course. Of course. He claims I was lucky. He's a new manager. E easy. 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 So we qualify for the next Champions League. Oh! It was like 22. And we've got a transfer budget of 927 grand. Please, now that we've done this, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to wait until they offer me a contract. But I'm going to see if we can get some training facilities. Like, dude, take away the transfer budget. Just just build some training facilities. Okay, let's hop forward. We got NK Maribor in three days. Got to rest some players. Ooh, interesting question. Your team lived up to the preseason expectations by clinching the title, but questions remain over your future of the club with your contract set to expire. Do you expect to be here another season? I'm going to say everyone wants the same outcome. We'll hopefully work something out it versus I'll be looking to sort out a new deal as soon as possible. I'd like to working something out indicates that there's something to work out, AKA training facilities. We can now scout anywhere in the world. Let's take a look at the uh, expectations of uh, 4,600 tickets. Really disappointed in our fans. Not going to lie. 
Here we go, my friends. If we win here, I'm I'm not saying there's a chance, but there's a better chance that if we lose. They've lost both games with a negative four goal differential to Olympiacos and Villarreal. So we've got one point. This is how we line up. Thompson is back from his injury. We kind of eased him in. He went like 45 minutes and then 60 minutes. Um, or maybe 70, 60 and 75. I can't remember. We've gotten him back into the mix. Hayes Ward is on fire, my friends. 8.38 in his last five games. Unbelievable form. Unbelievable. I have had a conversation with Gavin. Oh, someone just subscribed, apparently. Um, I have had a conversation with Gavin Wilkinson about... Um, Ooh, well, four two two action, huh? About his form, we are gonna give him a start. We're at home, you know. Like, all right, mate. I'm gonna say focus played on the left, maybe not the right. We'll, we'll see how it goes. To the tunnel. I'm not gonna talk about. Why would you ask me about the Sligo Rovers manager's job? as we're walking out to a Europa League group stage game. What a weird question. I would chastise that journalist if, if it, is there an option, chastise? I don't, not, not walk away in fury, just rip him a new one in the next press conference. Like, I just want to talk to you about something that we had happen in the tunnel as I was going out to my game. Ask me about the, we just won the league. We got a Europa League game and you're going to ask me about the Sligo Rivers manager. Amazing. White wins the ball back. I thought that was going to be a red card, to be honest with you. Hayes Ward, ball falls over the top. He takes a shot. He could have, mm, I mean, Wilkinson, I guess, was covered. Thompson takes a knock. That's not good. Because we don't have another winger. And then it'd be 4 2 2 2 versus 4 1 3 2 narrow. Spence, lots of space. Thompson, kind of weakly. Oh, oh, the handling is a three on the keeper. My goodness. We are going to exploit the right flank, too, I think. I think that makes a lot of sense. Tell Spence to go have a little bit of a run. Okay, there's Spence speaking Speaking of the man. Passes it back. Harry White. Can he pick out a... P mm, maybe. There's lots of people in the box there. White. Other Harry White. How confusing can it be? Spence. Lots of space. Crosses. Oh, it falls to Thompson. Has all day to think about it. And then the ball ignites its extra rockets and <laughs> flies off because that keeper didn't hit it that hard. And, the, and Thompson's strike was not that hard either. So there's no reason the ball flies all the way that. I, ball physics is killing me. Wouldn't be a good episode from GHG if you didn't talk about ball physics. Yeah, that's, uh, that's whatever he says in the comments they want to hear more of. Hmm. Come on, boys. We've dominated. Five shots, four on target with a half chance. We just need to... Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. Like how two guys cover the sideline there. That, that was excellent. I did start Boston. I don't trust Janadu. Not with his handling. Big games I think I'm going to give to the older, more experienced keeper. That's just how I feel. Okay. What's he got? Boston. Bosses it deep to nobody. Can we win the second ball? We do. White. Running forward. And then peels it back. Interesting. Hayes Ward plays it off to Spence, who's got acres of space. And instead is going to stand on the ball. He picks out Thompson. It falls. Again, from the keeper, Gavin Wilkinson, I told you, I th I, you, you, when you have a conversation, I mean, it, that was kind of more luck, right? But he had to, he had to make you, luck isn't a thing. That's something that Taylor on the Total Soccer Show says. He's like, when he was getting his coaching qualification, his mentor was like, there is no, you say that was unlucky. He's like, there is no such thing as luck. There is skill and intent and being where you're supposed to be and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's a valid point. He's got a valid point. Wilkinson was in the right spot, made the run, and finished well. So... You know, things. <clears throat> 11 shots to their four, nine on target to their two. We have had a couple more fouls. We're a little foul happy, but the nobody, nobody here. They're all on one side. Did we just close the stand to keep the stewarding cost down, put everybody on one side? Frank the Tank scored a goal right before half, in case you missed it. Harry White with the assist. Very nice from the corner. Mm-hmm. That was less salmon-like. That was more just kind of... He barely jumped because the first guy, the Maribor player, missed it. And it just kind of hit him in the head. I mean, he, he he angled it, right? He didn't just... It didn't just hit him in the head. But 
He didn't like Sam in it. Yeah, I know, I know you wanted it. I know you wanted it. Um, don't get complacent. Let's please, please go get three points. And not to mention three points. 500 grand, my friends. Enough money to potentially build a trading facility, you could say. And and to sign your amazing manager to a new contract. I'm, j I, I, I'm just saying. It's a thing you can do. Doyle continues to improve. I'm I'm super excited about Doyle because we've like he's like the first one that's really come through our youth system, and he's done so well and delicious. White pings it. Okay, take another ball at the cherry. He's gonna pass it back. No, he's gonna immediately play it out to Edic, who's on the wrong side of the pitch. And he's going to take a crack at it. It doesn't come off, but it hits the bar. I mean, it's pretty good. I'm going to sneeze. I have to mute. I kind of would like to take Thompson off, but we've only got two goals, and they don't have anybody on the wing. So we're going to leave him on. If we could score a third goal, people, that'd be really good. If we could do that, you know what I'm saying? Rotate some players off. That'd be kind of nice if we could do that. But I'm not going to take it away off until that happens, so. They're changing the approach and playing with more caution. Interesting. All right, boys, go get him. Go get him. Cole Maniac. I think it was Cole Maniac. But Cole Maniac sounds so much better. Wilkinson, are you... You got legs, brother. You got legs. Go get the ball. And they get a throw in because Wilkinson didn't chase that down. I mean, I, I want a sub because of that. But not, not gonna. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. We are going to, I guess, Hayes Ward's getting a little tired. We'll bring him off. Elaine can play the target, man. And then with a two-goal lead and four minutes left, famous last words, trust me. Um, we're going to do this and some of that. That'll work. We'll do the coveted triple or double summage. Not triple summage. I moved to pull. I, I moved Thompson's spot in the midfield. That's where I got. It's three changes. It's a formation change in two subs. It's technically three. This is huge. Oh, he says right before they score two. Oh, boy. This is huge. Famous last words. GHG 2019. Clean sheet. Come on, boys. Keep the clean sheet for Boston. There we go. Edich. Long throw to Dean Doyle. I'd like to get Dino a, a, a goal here or an assist. Okay, he's open on the wings. Get it to Dean. No. Goes to Wilkinson, who's out wide. Like, wait a minute. What am I doing out here? Elaine flicks it on. Nobody's making that back post run. That was a good attempt. Goes off for goal, goal kick and left runs. But we're going to get out of here with a 2-0 or 2-1 potentially victory. Against NK Maribor with the league I don't have loaded, but we will take it because it is 500 grand for our club, and we are edging towards. I, I you surely we're edging towards being able to afford training facilities. What if they don't offer me a contract? What if they're like, "Hey, thanks for getting us this far, but you know it's been it's been a good run." But don't let it get to your heads. That's not really what I meant to say. I was kind of moving too fast. I was already thinking about training facilities, but it seemed to focus the group. 570k. Five hundred seventy K. We get two point nine million euros. I can't even ask. I do you facility we don't want you we want training facilities. My friends, when is my contract up? December 31st, end of the season, end of the year. Well, if you've enjoyed that episode, I'm not going to show you the league games. I mean, in camera, okay, oh, okay. 11 6 and, a, and then we're not going to show you the Iron Brew Cup quarterfinal. Who cares? Olympiacos is 11 27. 11 6, 11 27. 11 6, 11 27. 11 6. Okay, so Kazakhstan will be. Uh, NK Maribor and Kazakhstan are going to be our next episode. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, my friends. I mean, that's really a gutting result there. But it's offset by winning the league 
and winning a Europa League game. And now we are even on points with Villarreal, although they've not played yet. When do they play next? Like the next day? Let's just see. They're playing today. Let's just see. Yeah, so they won 3-0. Yeah, yeah. I, that's what I... I mean, I, I, I think we should be even more proud that we got the draw against them. So we're chasing Olympiacos. I think we got a chance. I'm just saying. Three games left if we lose here if they lose okay if it's assumed we both beat maribor then it's essentially the same point gap and if we beat them we could qualify right is my math right there like if if they lose to villarreal again and we lose to villarreal again that's the same still two point difference if we both both beat maribor that's a two point difference and then we would, if we, we would have to beat them, and then we would have a point more than them. I could see also if, if, now if we drew with Maribor, we'd be, and if they beat them, that's two points. That'd be too much. So we essentially have to beat Olympiacos and Maribor, assuming that Olympiacos loses to Villarreal and beats Maribor. Then it would come down to our result against Olympiacos. If, let me know if my math is correct. I think it is. So it's not over yet, lads. It's not over yet. We really should have done better. We really should have done better in this game. But that was the away leg. So in the home leg, can we can we get one over on them? Especially after we rest our starters for two games. Because I'm not going to play a single starter. These games don't matter. Come back. That's what we're going to do. I, I know I've rambled here at the end. But make sure you hit the like button. Thank you for your love and support. It means a lot. Let's go qualify. Yeah. I mean, make it to the knockout round. You know what I meant.